The best products are built because we're solving problems that annoy the hell out of us. Too many entrepreneurs are getting into the app development game right now, basically iterating to an existing idea or just going to a market that they think is sexy. Real purebred entrepreneurs, real great companies are born because they're solving something. They're solving a problem that not only you intimately are facing, that drives you to create that solution for it, but most importantly, there's many people like you that need that same solution. That's how you're going to build an app, a product, a service, a company, whatever it is you're going to do and be successful. The biggest thing I can ever communicate to anyone trying to find a problem big enough to solve, nine times out of 10, the reality of you being the most special person on earth that's going to have that unique problem is slim to none. So if you can find a problem that you're so passionate about that needs to be solved, I promise you, other people are going to have the same problem as you that's going to want the same solution as you. Now, every solution has a different value prop, and this is where confusion can happen, where this solution to this problem might be worth to me as a consumer a dollar, or might be worth for me as a consumer $10,000. Odds are, if you are an entrepreneur, you can market to them and create that solution and actually monetize and make money off of it. You know, if you're dealing with a problem that deals with carpenters and you have a solution for it, go to a Facebook group for carpenters, go to a fan page for carpenters, go to a fan site, podcast, communicate with them, show them your product. You go to where your audience is. And the cool thing about this day and age we live in is we've never been more niched. Facebook groups, Twitter topics, right? Like Instagram, hashtags, Google, search results. All of this are solutions that exist for you to go and find your target audience and validate the proof of concept. Now, one of the big things to understand, right, is you can't just come and be like, here's the solution, the holy grail, give me money. You need to give them value. That might be as simple as just being upfront. Hey, Benjamin Franklin lovers, I've come up with this incredible solution to this problem that I know many of you have been facing. I don't know if it's the great solution or not. This is a brand new idea. I'm putting it out there. I put it at a little bit of a cheaper rate than I think I eventually will charge. Give me your honest thoughts. Would you use this? Is it giving you value? Are you gonna pay for it? If you're going to build something you're gonna monetize, you have to monetize day one because there's nothing more frustrating than trying to figure it out later. You're not Snapchat. Most of you are not Snapchat. You're building a business that needs an ROI. So if you can basically introduce a low value prop and work your pricing model and work your validation that way, not only do, in my opinion, will you not come off spammy, you're going to be very open to the community, open to their feedback, giving them the openness, and they're going to want to contribute. They're going to want to help you because of the fact that you're giving them value by solving this problem and you're encouraging them to be a part of what could be something great.